Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another session of uh, live with uh, both Facebook and YouTube. And we welcome you to TechSmack Direct's Happy Embroidery Machines uh, live interviews, uh, which is what this is today. We often do demonstrations for Happy Embroidery Machines and their features, but uh, we think it's also meaningful for you all to get to see and communicate with people that are in the industry that are influential, that uh, can possibly give some advice. So today, uh, within a couple of minutes, uh, we're going to have Jeff Fuller on here, Happy Embroidery Machine owner, and also uh, a star of uh, a rising internet phenomenon called the Embroidery Nerd, which is uh, a service that spans just about all of the major online platforms, such as YouTube, Facebook, Facebook Live, Instagram. Uh, he's got a blog, a website, uh, but through these different channels on the internet, he pushes out a lot of information about what he does. Jeff has quite a bit of experience even before he became a happy embroidery machine owner. So he has a background in the industry before he uh, bought his machine. And it's really, really interesting to talk about some of the uh, things that he's done with his happy machine and also uh, some of the things that he does for people in, uh, in the in industry in general. And for those of you who are considering owning a Happy Embroidery Machine, uh, we have the good fortune of Jeff also being able to share his uh, take and his uh, technical expertise also um, just through his generosity and just what he does as an embroiderer, uh, running Fuller Embroidery Works, the Embroidery Nerd, um, and providing those services and just generously sharing his experience. So you who may be a potential business owner, uh, buying a happy machine, adding a happy machine to your existing business uh, can learn more. Uh, in addition to the normal TechSmack support and training classes, we offer Jeff services or or actually Jeff just offers it freely. So uh, we'd like to talk to him about it. So let me go ahead without further ado and let's get him joining in. So I'm going to add him in and uh, let's get Jeff Fuller on and uh, Jeff, if you're here, welcome. Uh, um, hopefully you can hear and see. I know that you're ready. And if you can see, he's got that machine. He's he's a true businessman. He is running that thing right up in the last up to the last second before we even start our interview. So there's there's some work ethic for you. Jeff, welcome. How's it going, Renee? Happy to be here. Hey, great, great to have you over. And we'd love to uh, talk a little bit more. So um one of the first things that uh, I want to um, do is ask you a few questions, and just for the the our our viewers out there who are talking about uh, and considering a happy machine, maybe some who already own a machine or just kind of looking at us. Um, uh, I guess they first they want to talk, learn a little bit about you in case they haven't heard. So, talk to us talk to us about what you do. What is the embroidery nerd all about, and anything else that you'd like to share that identifies you and what you do in the industry. Well, um, I'm Jeff, if you guys didn't know. If you follow me already, thank you. If not, you can. Um, but basically when I started in the industry, uh, I don't even remember what year it was, but we, uh, when I would ask people for advice, all I would get was trade secrets. They, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't share anything. And it was really, really frustrating and, um, that's actually how I met Matthew. He, he had the same experience. And one day he was looking for a stabilizer and he came, uh, I sent him a message that I could send him some and he stopped by my house. And about a year after that, I want to say we had the embroidery nerd and uh, we share that information because a lot of the information that we share shouldn't really be a trade secret. You know, what stabilizers, stabilizers to use, some digitizing techniques, um, you know, that kind of stuff is, it, it's fairly common knowledge now, but when we started, everybody was really tight lipped about it. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think you hit a nail on the head that, um, I haven't even, I hadn't even considered bringing into this interview, but I'm glad you did, which is that this is a, uh, this is an industry that is, it's a great industry to be in because number one, it's a product that you can do, especially for a small, medium-sized businesses, even large businesses, that you can keep uh, here within the borders of the United States. Um, it's not easily done overseas. So there's a lot of um, security in, in running customized embroidery uh, on a commercial scale. And uh, the problem is, is that there's no university to go to that you can 
um, or college or anything. There is a, a good trade set of trade associations. There is a general industry. Uh, 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 there's industry followings that you can do, um, but there isn't, it isn't, for, until recently, it really hasn't been formalized the way you can get out there and, and look for that kind of knowledge. Now, buying a machine from TexMac, you know, of course, you get that support, you get the training, and, and we do our, our best, but it always helps to have people that are out there that have done it in the field. Um, I give my advice as a trainer, but people who are doing it for real, like yourself, that are, are doing it for income, um, you know, the, it really becomes very real. And for our viewers to be able to relate to that and talk to people who are, who are doing it uh, really matters. So it, it's really, really great what you do. And like you said, um, just trying to bring those secrets and those techniques out of the shadows and into the light so people can see, um, can easily more access that. So that's great. And uh, by the way, uh, those of you who are listening, I do want to um, share that uh, we want to be very interactive here. And uh, I see that we've got quite a few comments. So Jeff and I will uh, talk about uh, uh, another topic and question here in a moment. And then we'll pause in a little bit and we'll go ahead and start posting up some comments and, and replying to them. So welcome everybody who's watching. Um, and I, I do want to focus this uh, on Jeff and his feedback because it's so valuable to people like him. So um, Jeff, again, thank you for your comments. Uh, anything else to add to that? Um. I don't think so. Uh, I just do embroidery and I enjoy it. And so oh. <laughs> I do it. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, um, on uh, so the embroidery nerd uh, is a lot of that, like you said, it, it's a forum. Um, and again, that spans uh, just about the entire spectrum of popular online platforms uh, like Facebook Live and YouTube Live, where this is being broadcast now. But you can also go to find the Facebook group, Embroidery Nerd. It's also a blog and uh, communicate with that. And he offers a lot of services and just joining that feed, you'll see him operating his happy embroidery machine, but also um, just sharing uh, these uh, general tips. And I'm gonna say, make one more question, we'll answer it and then we'll turn to some of these questions that we have because we've got a few of them. But uh, one thing I, I, I do wanna ask and I'm curious about is, uh, what are some aspects of TaxMac and Happy Embroidery Machines that drew you to it um, in your experience of shopping around for a single head uh, machine or the one that you arrived at? And then um, once you got it, uh, what have you found in your experience uh, with your machine that you, uh, with your Happy Machine that you find worth mentioning that you'd like to share with other people who are considering it or, or even current owners? So pre-Happy Machine, I went to a DAC show and I met, um, Matt, not Matt from Embroidery Nerd, but Matt from TexMac. And uh, I was able to look at this machine, see him run, and I talked to him a little bit. And what I really, really liked, it was zero pressure shit, pressure sale. There was, like, it, it was just not something I've ever really experienced when I bought something from someone before. Um, and that, that said a lot. Um, and, you know, the machines, if you don't know, they're made in Japan. It says Happy Japan on the front. Uh, they run pretty smoothly. Um, and so it was with that and recommendations from people in the field uh, that ultimately led me to buying a happy machine. Um, post happy machine, uh, I run it all the time. It runs a lot smoother and faster than my old machine. Uh, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was really hoping to have this stitch out done before this, but that's a 45,000, 45,000 design and we stopped for that 400 stitches short <laughs> um, but I, I put that on the machine i set the spm to a thousand stitches a minute and ran it and for the last hour it's ran non-stop um i have one thread break and i'm pretty sure that was my fault i'm not going to point any fingers but that guy um, <laughs> and you know that's just kind of a test when i'm doing 3D puff, full field design, um, and it's it's going strong. And I've ran, you know, I run this machine hard. I oil it daily, and it's it's with the, with the maintenance that you do, it 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 runs really well. It performs really well. And one of my favorite aspects of it is the networking software. And I can't say it enough. I love being able to set my color changes, my stops for the machine, my uh, my frame outs. 
on my computer, click a button, and it goes to my machine. And 90% of the time, I slap the hook and hit the start button. Um, a comment on that uh, question is that um, I know that you can transfer designs uh, by network, like you said. And uh, we have quite a few owners who do that. And then I also have some owners who just uh, will take like a USB stick, just a regular old USB stick that you can pick up off the shelf. And then, um, and then, and just uh, tr save the design onto that and put it in the machine. And uh, I know that you mentioned some of those features, but uh, that I know that was meaningful for you. So, what made you pick that over transferring it uh, as a design, just for people who are considering that, either a stick or a live cable connection? Well, here's the two things that I considered, um, and I did have a hooked up live cable connection before. Um, but the big things that I, I considered when I did that is number one, USB ports have a lifespan. Um, Good point. They ultimately do. It's a very large lifespan, but they have a lifespan. Number two, I misplaced things. And I cannot tell you how many USB drives I've purchased, but I can only find like four. Uh, number three, live connection is great. Um, you're able to do this, the, a lot of the same features, but one of the features that I really like about the LAN software is that it gives me a progress. It keeps a progress on the machine. I can see the machine is running. I can see when it's a thread break. And I mean, I can hear it too, because I sit in here, but <laughs> um, I'm able to pull reports off of the machine. I can tell you how long it sat idle. I can tell you how long it sat when there was a thread break. I can tell you how many times I ran a design, how many stitches the design was, exactly how long the design is ran. And those, that information, um, when you're pricing, because I price by the hour, it's very, very important for me to be able to know exactly what my runtime is. Oh, that's great, Jeff. And I do want to make a comment on that. Is um, you may have noticed that Jeff is very, very technically savvy, and um, we will be. Um, I've been uh, doing this for about twenty years, learning the machines, constantly learning the software and the updates. But Jeff takes that another level. He's completely unafraid to explore all those features. Now, for those of you who are considering a machine and maybe you're not very technically savvy, but you really, really like embroidery, or you are a business person that really, really sees um, uh, the potential market of being able to customize a shirt with logos and um, buy it A, sell it A plus B, with that B being your embroidery, and, and making a profit, and maybe that's your interest, or maybe that's artwork. And none of, none of that requires technical expertise. And uh, that's something that we, help you with um, here at TexMac, uh, making sure that you're up and running and, and give you that knowledge base so that you can run it, you know, without feeling that you have to be an embroidery nerd. But one thing I do want to highlight with Jeff is that people like him are part of the universe of uh, happy embroidery machines. There's people out there. We have a huge user community. I'm very, very grateful to people like Jeff. And I, I would love to mention maybe several hundred other people out there that may or may not be as quite as tech savvy as Jeff, but um, that's part of that community that you would tap into if you're looking for uh, advice. If you wanna, like Jeff said, network your machine and maybe a bunch of others have some unique setup for your particular client base, um, we will give you advice. But then for um, like the Facebook user community, for example, with TexMac and Happy Embroidery Machines, Post that question out there, and chances are you're going to post that out there even after hours. You're going to get a bunch of nerds that will go, ooh, 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 raising, you know, the, the kids that sat in the front of the classroom and had every answer to everything, but they're also very friendly and open and sharing like Jeff. And I think Jeff, I wanted to bring him on because he's, I think he's the epitome of this in a lot of ways. Very kind, very nice. Um operating really, really well, but also willing to share his, uh, his experience. Now, Jeff, um, I know you had about 400 stitches to, to eat. So what I want to do is I'm going to ask, um, go back to you for just a second and see if you had anything to add. And then I'm going to start handling some of these questions and posting them uh, because you guys are watching and I do want to answer them. Uh, uh, we are uh, trying to be very interactive and just answer your questions and really uh, make this a great experience for everybody who's joined in. So, Jeff, any comments before we transition uh, to uh, to uh, the comment section? Well, um, the only thing that I'm going to add is the, the training that Happy uh, Embroidery Machines gives you. Um, 
There are two webinars a week that you can attend. Uh, they cover a subject, but at the end of the webinar, it's kind of open questions. And it's really good if you have a question, you're like, oh man, I don't really want to call a tech. You can jump in there and you can ask your question. And for me, if a company's offering training, you should be taking advantage of it. I don't care what machine you own. If that company's offering training, take advantage of it. It's priceless. Yeah, I would take that advice to heart if you are. And uh, we, we hope all of you who are watching uh, buy happy embroidery machines, buy multiple, if that will um, be for your business. But if you don't, no matter what solution you get, make sure that you get a good support system uh, behind whatever equipment you choose. It's just as important as uh, the equipment that you get. So great comment, Jeff. And uh, again, we're grateful to have you. So uh, I want to turn to some of these questions and Jeff is probably going to try and finish this thing. I think it's something he wanted to show off and, and see, but kind of see what he's doing. So uh, I've been pretty impressed by some of the things he's done. I've learned a lot and I've been doing this 20 years. And I don't think Jeff has been doing it that long, but uh, but he's already brought a lot of advice for happy embroidery machine owners and non-happy embroidery machine owners. So look at all these questions here. So, um, so I'm um, just kind of posting some of these up. Jasmine, uh, that's great. That's awesome. I hope you're picking up on that. And um, yes, yeah, so we do uh, love to connect with our customers right now, especially in these odd times uh, The where we can't all get together. Like I'm in a room where normally once a month, I've got 15 to 20 people in here and we're having a fun time in the classroom learning and sewing but we have to expand our virtual presence. So uh, being you being able to ask your questions on here live um, and learn is really important. And when all this crazy stuff is over, the, the, the odd thing is probably some of this stuff is here to stay because some of you are probably in your bathrobes and just kind of sitting there with your camera blocked off, of course, and, and watching and realizing, hey, I didn't have to get into a car or get on a plane to go see Happy Embroidery Machines. I've gotten a feel from users uh, yeah, we can actually see it, almost touch the machines, but actually watch live events. So that's that's great that you're seeing that. And Frank, um, I know that you're in the industry and it's late for you because you're in the UK. So that's awesome that you've joined. Uh, we're very flattered that uh, you're getting to watch us over there. So rock on over there. I know that you answer a lot of questions are very active in this community as well. And Ramona, um, uh, if, uh, if you all don't know, you'll probably see Ramona's name again. I think she's going to she's gonna be owning a happy embroidery machine. So we're going to try and be super nice. But Ramona's a prolific digitizer out there for those of you looking for digitizing services. Uh, but just to see uh, people like Ramona, we're, we're uh, reaching out to people that are not only just joining the industry, but there are a lot of people that are already in the industry that know of happy machines. So there's, again, so many people that are uh, out there that... Uh, draw from their experience. So, hey, Matt, uh, welcome. So uh, uh, the uh, the raffle, uh, I can't really talk about it right now because it's, it kind of, it's kind of confidential, but if there is a raffle for a multi-head embroidery machine, you can believe that I'll be on that raffle too because I would love to own this thing behind me right now. It's a 1504, but we do have 1506 in the warehouse, about 30 feet to my right. So, um, yeah, please, Matt. Um, if you can find out any information, uh, I would love to join in on that. So, great. <laughs> Ramona, of course, I, I wish there was. But um, um, Hi, Tammy. Okay. Oh, a shareholder. All right. There you go. That's my dad. Oh, oh gotcha. So I'll grab that. Um, I'm running the HCD3. Okay. All right. And the HCD3 uh, that Jeff has is our, our most popular industrial machine. Uh, Happy has a diverse line of single head machines. Uh, there are two compacts that are about 90 pounds each. Uh, they they do they're sem they're semi industrial in the fact that that they're compact, but they actually do sew commercial jobs. But uh, the the big blue machine behind Jeff that you see um, is the true um, industrial line, part of the true industrial line with that and the HCU that are uh, designed to run 24 hours, very high operating speeds, 1,200 stitches per minute, 1,500 stitches per minute. So that's uh, what he's got. Thank you for the question, Jasmine. Okay. And um, 
Yes, Ramona, the wireless connection, that's something you can set up uh, with having machines for, uh, we were talking about networking and the networking um, the capability that's built in. What's great is that software comes with any Happy machine that you buy. It's not an additional purchase because I think Happy uh, realizes the reality that some people like the, the multi-head machines behind me, but if you're doing a lot of personalization or, or just small runs like five to six pieces or something like that or a dozen, uh, then you can have multiple single heads, which is great. So that's what some people are doing. Um, or just having that network wireless connection where um, as long as you're in wireless range, you can be in another room, um, you can broadcast that. And you'll have to buy a little um, uh, wireless bridge for that, um, or you can even just use an old router and boom, they're on, um, you can get these things online and broadcasting over the year. So that's great. Lots of uh, questions and comments here, guys. So uh, uh, that's awesome. So, uh, so John, uh, yes. Uh, that's great. I'm, I'm glad. Hopefully you're learning. Uh, feel free to join in on commentary. We got to do this a lot more. So <laughs> Diane, welcome. Diane's also a 12 needle machine owner and she's a frequent, um, uh, a, a frequent visitor to my online classes. Guys out there, if you have a happy machine or thinking about that, I got to tell you something. It's really funny because the, uh, there's a, a lot of, um, We've got a lot of uh, buyers now, uh, for some reason, embroidery is a great, and we're grateful for this. It's a strong industry through this pandemic, so there's still a lot of strong demand uh, for these machines. But a lot of these new customers, I get some that are like the people who sit in the front row of the class, nerds like Jeff, the self-proclaimed nerd, as well as a bunch of other people who join and they're regulars and they're getting a lot out of these classes. But if you don't go to the classes, I just wanna remind you, if you have a machine, please do. You can jump in at any level. Nobody's going to make fun of you for having skipped a few classes. This is for you as a customer so that you can learn at any level that you want to. We will repeat questions. As, a, as a, the teacher for the machines, I'll repeat the answers to the questions thousands of times as long as it helps you. Um, and again, any level of expertise is, is welcome uh, uh, from stone cold beginners to advanced users that may need to know some little bit of information. So, Diane, thank you. So, hey, Renee, I got I got a question. Sure, go ahead. For existing happy owners, how would they find that information for the weekly? Oh, good. Very, very good point. Um, all you have to do is go to the website, the uh, U.S. website for happy embroidery machines, which is happyemb.com. Jeff, great setup. Thank you. Just like a volleyball bump set spike. The um, happyemb.com. Just go to events and classes. So I teach these classes currently every Wednesday and Friday, and we're going to try and um, stick to that format at 2 p.m. Eastern, so 11 a.m. Pacific, uh, 1 p.m. Central. And uh, and all you have to do is jump on. Uh, currently, I don't record the classes, but we're welcome or we're working on it. So, uh, but if you miss something, just jump on the next class. So Wednesdays and Fridays for one hour and then um, and then the an additional 30 minutes after that's left open for open discussion. So thanks, Jeff, for pointing that out. All right, so Ramona is champing at the bit, so no problem. We can't wait. <laughs> Diane, that's true. Hello, Mike. Oh, yeah, um, Tammy, I, I do want to, uh, uh, again, uh, this is the Jeff show as much as I'm talking. For those of you who are making patches, Jeff has um, created something that that resembles a true marrow border, but in DST. So you don't have to get out your marrow machine to edge your patches. You can still use your happy embroidery machine or actually any other brand embroidery machine that's working really well. He's created, as a digitizer, Jeff has created the, the Fuller border named after uh, the one and only Jeff Fuller. Uh, he's carefully crafted it. So you have those running linking stitches as well as the border. So, uh, check into that in the Embroidery Nerd. He may talk about that in a little bit if I can get through some of these questions, uh, these comments. And um, <laughs> All right. Can't blame Matt Enderly for trying. Matt does have a 1504, an older happy, and it's running like a champ. So we're definitely going to allow him to be a little bit snarky here. So, uh, uh, Hi, Grandma. I love that. Yes. <laughs> Great, Nola, thank you. We, we tend to agree that uh, Jeff is very helpful. 
Absolutely, Ramona. Um, you know, Jasmine, uh, that's a really good question. And I kind of commented earlier, but I have to reiterate, um, we actually sold out temporarily of the machine that's over Jeff's right shoulder now, the ACD3, because it's such a popular commercial embroidery machine. Thankfully, in the next couple of days, I might even peek into the warehouse uh, today, tomorrow. We should get a new container load coming in from Japan any day now. Um, so the demand definitely seems to be up. It definitely hasn't fallen. Um, so we're very pleased with that. And um, back to you guys as potential owners and owners already, uh, that bodes well for you, knock on wood. So on the wooden table of the machine behind me, that um, demand is staying strong through this pandemic. So you guys working hard as embroiderers are gonna help carry the economy forward. So we value you very much and hopefully you'll find that continued success. Uh, Shamika, yes. Uh, Yes, absolutely. We um, get that second happy machine, network them together, and I'm, I'm glad you're having a great experience. So, and do we provide the same support? Well, you know, to be honest with you, we do have to focus on our customers that have bought directly from us. We don't want to leave any happy embroidered machine uh, owner out in the cold, uh, but there are times, especially during uh, peak demand, like for example, just before Christmas in November, when holiday demand goes up and, and the, uh, the technical support desk lights up like a Christmas tree, no pun but intended, but a lot of it's because people are starting to really kick their machines into high gear and they want maintenance adjustments, or they're just running fast and slam something every once in a while and they want to know how to fix stuff. But that all ramps up seasonally. And, every, and whenever we run into stuff like that, we start to prioritize our customers as well. Now, for if you do buy a uh, used happy embroidery machine, we do want you to operate it well. Uh, we're not the kind of people who say, well, throw it away and buy a new machine. Um, these machines do have a, a lifespan that um, I've been with the company again, uh, right around 20 years. I joined in 2001 and I'm still talking to people who bought their machines. We expect these machines to reasonably last well over a decade and, and way more than that if you maintain them. Um, so there are gonna be people who, um, you know, get out of it and then um, let go of the machines. But every happy machine out there sewing is a re representative of the brand. So we'd love to uh, find some ways for these people to uh, to be able to learn their machines and operate them. There is uh, a there is a uh, service contract that you can buy that gives you a lot of that same phone support and also uh, and also the training that uh, new happy machine owners that bought from TexMac do get. So that's something you can look into if that's valuable to you. So great question, Jasmine and um, and uh, Larry. Hey, that's great. Uh, Larry's a happy machine owner that's got an uh, old machine and he's very, very technically capable. He gives a lot of advice, so Larry, it's great to see you. And I think we're about to the end of the, uh, the comments for the moment, although they are flowing in. So, um, so Justin, hopefully you do get the opportunity to do it. I know that I see you a lot on Jeff's uh, forum, The Embroidery Nerd. So, uh, so yeah, absolutely. Um, you do make a good comment is that if you don't know much about happy machines, just go out in the industry and talk to any happy machine owner. They're made in Japan. They run really, really hard. In my experience in 20 years, uh, going through different um, generations of machines, happy machines, they, they do really perform well partly why I'm here doing what I do. These are great machines that put people in business. All right, this is supposed to be about Jeff. Um, I have, uh, <laughs> let me transition to this, uh, just getting back to uh, to Jeff and some questions. Uh, Jeff, do you have any feedback at the moment? Uh, uh, any comments that have popped in your head? Um, not really, I'm waiting for the next comment. <laughs> yeah, gotcha, gotcha. We do have quite a bit, a bit of involvement there. Uh, Jasmine, let's see. All right, question for you, Jeff, go ahead. So um, honestly, if I was going to buy another machine, and Renee's not going to be happy to hear this. No, I'm just kidding. I get I get the HCU. If I was going to get another one and I had the money to do it, I'd get an HCU. Um, there is a price difference between this machine and the HCU, which uh, originally brought me to this machine. Um, but I think if I had to do it again, I'd get an HCU. Uh, I would not hesitate to get another HCD and sit it next to this one if I needed to. Um, but... The HCU has a lot of really neat capabilities that I really want to play with. And especially with all that high tech uh, that's built in the HCU. And for you guys who are 
watching and really not that familiar with it, the machine over just right shoulder is again, our, uh, our most popular selling uh, industrial single head, large size, large field, large, um, high continuously maintained uh, sewing speeds. So it's ideal for business and high production. So that's the HCD that Jeff has. So what Jeff's talking about, the HCU, is a machine that has a little bit more modern design uh, that allows a little more flexibility. And um, I wish I could uh, point the camera to one here, but we're sold out of them until the next container comes in. And again, that's something we didn't anticipate during the pandemic, but it is, it's, um, it's got servo motors. It's um, uh, max speed is 1500 stitches per minute um, on flats and 1200 stitches per minute on caps. And because it's a servo drive, it likes being at those speeds. It's, it's efficient. And, and in our experience with our customers that have them, it really does like those top speeds. So you really are getting that additional 10, 20, 30% greater production than a lot of other machines, as well as other crazy things like digital tension, um, digital presser foot automatic uh, fabric thickness adjustment. So those are the things that Jeff and I are drooling over as far as this great machine and, and what it can do for people. So, all right. So, and so, uh, oh, Matt, another question, probably about a free six head, but let's take a look here. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so good comment here. This, I think Matt's experience, this is one of the things if you're out in the industry and, and um, you ask about happy machines, this is something you're going to look at. So the, um, these machines are built like tanks. They're built to last because they know that as a business, businesses can be hard on their equipment because you're a slave to the demand of your customers. So um, you need to push your machines as hard as uh, you want to work for your customers. So as a result, um, uh, Matt's discovering this with the build quality of even an old 2004 machine, not quite as fast as the machine behind me and not quite as capable, but still able to produce um, uh, produce uh, top quality embroidery. And he operates it at insanely high speeds, a thousand stitches per minute. So, uh, so that's great. So uh, I, he's looking to a 1506. Maybe we can get that price up from zero and free to maybe what we can actually sell uh, machine for so that we can all stay in business. But um, I'm glad it's worked out for you, Matthew. And by the way, Matthew Enderly is, is um, Jeff's partner in the Embroidery Nerd. Uh, so these two gentlemen have done a lot. Um, Jeff, uh, tell you what, while we're looking around for questions, talk a little bit more about the Embroidery Nerd and some of the things that you guys have done uh, for, for embroidery machine owners, not just happy, but just what you've done. Well, um, so with the embroidery nerd, we basically do, uh, digitizing education, embroidery education. Um, Matt's done some really good videos on Merrill machines that if you get one, I highly recommend watching. Um, but it's, it's a lot of content on, um, the things that you're, it, I guess digitizing, it's a lot of content on digitizing. Um, we're trying to get more content on physically running the machines, but um, we do that simply because we want to share. And fingers crossed, it does well. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the we love that you want to share, and I know that that's your discretion and that's your choice. So we're very grateful that you guys are open to that. So take advantage while you can, guys, of, uh, of not only uh, these webinars and, and, of course, these Facebook Lives, but uh, people like Jeff Fuller and the Embroidery Nerd, look for him on Facebook, uh, look for his group and Matt, um, because some, some people get in, some people get out. These guys look like they're in it for the long term, but people like, uh, like uh, Jeff do make it easier for other happy machine owners, other other machine owners to operate their business. So we're grateful to have you here. And uh, I know the topics are, uh, the questions, uh, topics are, or the comments are starting to die down a little as we get beyond our, our uh, scheduled runtime. But um, uh, Mike, that's a good, uh, that's a, a good praise for the embroidery nerd. Um, I feel uh, pretty much the same way about it. Um, as far as a forum to address the entire industry and anybody that's interested. Um, we're grateful to have uh, Jeff here to talk about it. So thank you. And um, Jerry Lee, uh, good to see you. Uh, uh, good to see you on here. Uh, we do sell a lot of Jerry Lee's products too as well. 
uh, through the supply division at, at TexMac Direct, including the needle ease, which is great for um, putting uh, your needles in precisely for your machine and the donut for taking off your needle plate as well as hook wash. So, uh, so just representing you uh, momentarily there, Jerry, uh, Jerry Lee, thank you very much for stopping in. And um, yes, uh, Ramona, I totally agree. Um, so uh, I believe I may have one more question for Jeff. Um, um, and then uh, let's, and then we can, and then we can take a few more comments and then I don't want to take this beyond what people's um, time is allotted for here. But uh, I would say, Jeff, do you have any particular advice for people that are considering getting into the business that stands out? I know you could write a book on it, but anything that stands out that you'd like to, to comment on uh, to share with our viewers? Man, Renee, I feel like a little while ago we covered this for an hour and we were like, we need a part two. Uh, yes. Uh, but, you know, th this is my advice. When you're looking at machines, look at price them all you'd be amazed at how in range they all are with each other so price them all find what's going to suit you best make sure that it has good support standing behind it because if you're just starting in you're going to need that support um like the weekly webinars text mac does um and no matter what machine you buy um you can be successful you're gonna, it's gonna take a while to learn and it's not gonna be easy. You're gonna spend days sitting at the machine crying. You're gonna spend days rejoicing at the machine. You're gonna have your ups and you're gonna have your downs. But no matter what you buy, you can be successful and just stick with it. Learn the machine, then learn digitizing and have fun with it because it is a lot of fun. Good words, good wise words from Jeff. Um, any spirit under an hour. <laughs> that's, a, I know. Yeah. that's all right. I think that's good words of wisdom. It's it's like any serious endeavor. You're going to get into it as a business. It's going to challenge you. You're going to have your joys, your ups and downs. So, uh, and for me, representing the Happy Japan brand here, we do sincerely hope that uh, you do choose Happy Embroidery Machines if you're considering it. Uh, and uh, not just because they're great machines. And of course, I'm I'm paid to say they're the greatest machines on the planet. But I've been, uh, uh, my statement that I've been here 20 years, Jeff's got a machine over uh, over his shoulder and there's just look into so many other people who've done that and uh, you can draw your own conclusions from there um, as far as where happy machines can fit uh, in, in, a, in a successful embroidery business. So, and then just uh, filling in with uh, some of these final comments, uh, you're welcome, Jerry Lee. Uh, so Justin's been in the industry. I've definitely seen you around uh, out there. I'm surprised we haven't crossed path. So uh, great praise for the embroidery nerd. So Justin, maybe one day you'll get to be a happy embroidery machine owner. So, all right. Yes, Jerry Lee, we love, we love that group too. They've been so helpful for uh, happy embroidery machine owners. And I did forget Jerry Lee, you are, uh, we did see you on, I did see you on the list of prospective customers. So, so welcome in advance. We can't wait to, to, to uh, have you uh, as a member of the happy family. So guys, um, everybody that's listening, we're so excited for people chime, um, uh, chiming in and making their comments. I'm very, very humbly uh, grateful for uh, Jeff's time uh, this afternoon here and being able to share his experience and his commentary. Again, look for him on the Embroidery Nerd on his Facebook group. He does offer a lot of useful advice. Uh, he is in no way affiliated with TexMac and and, uh, and Happy Embroidery Machines, but he is our customer, so we do like to take care of him as much as he does take care of people in the industry. So, thank you guys again, and uh, we should be doing this every Thursdays around two o'clock, and uh, so that you can learn more about Happy Embroidery Machines. Thank you all. Thanks, guys.